Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. If you would like to hear my thoughts on the brand new Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit on the Locked Palette, then just keep watching. So if you don't know, every year Hourglass releases usually a six pan or a bigger palette of their powders every holiday. This released last week. I wasn't going to do a video on it because I was a little late in my upload of it, but I figured some of you might want to see it, so here I am. So this palette is available right now on Sephora.com and also the Hourglass website. It is $80, which is a very hefty price. It is a limited edition, cruelty-free and vegan, and then of course it comes with six brands new powders that are not in their permanent collection. So let's go into the packaging of this guy. It comes in a really reflective case, the same packaging as last year's, kind of hard to show on camera, but the same reflective luxurious case. It's plastic, and then on the back it gives directions on what the powders are. You open it up, it reveals a big mirror and the six shades. So let's go into the powders individually and how to use them. So the first two are finishing powders, soft light and filtered light. They're both different tones so you can use them on different parts of your face. The third color is a bronzer. The fourth and fifth colors are both blushes and the last color is their strobing powder. So for application of these products, I first took the shade Soft Light and I patted that underneath my eyes just to give a little bit of brightness. This really brightened up the area as well as added a soft, subtle sheen to my skin. I then mix Soft Light and Filtered Light and I just use that as a setting powder all over my face. These powders are very blurring and soft and it's consistent with the same formula as their other finishing powders. Of course, it gave my skin a soft shimmering veil all over my skin, but shimmery isn't really the right way to put it, just a simple glow to my face that is natural and very pretty. So the third shade is the Golden Bronze Light Powder, and when you look at it in the pan, there are some micro fine glitters in the palette, and I was concerned that it was going to show up on my face. So I did use a big brush. Of course, you kind of have to angle it to fit in the pan, and I applied that all over my face. It's a beautiful color, but I noticed on myself the micro fine glitters did stick to my skin but the only reason they were noticeable is because the lights that I was filming in front of it did glisten off of that but in everyday life it you're not gonna notice it but that is something I would like to point out that those micro fine glitters didn't completely go away they're still there if you look hard enough but honestly it's really nothing to be concerned about only I could tell because I had a lot of lights in front of me by the way the tone of this bronzer is beautiful it is not as warm as it looks in the pan and it's not as shimmery as it looks as the pan of of course it has a glow to it but it is really pretty and do use a light hand with this because I did go a little heavy-handed with it at first and I got caught a little bit under my cheek but once I blended it out it's a beautiful beautiful bronzer all right so the first blush shade that we have here is nude glow now I put this on this cheek first and it definitely also has those microfine glitters and it has a sheen to it so when you apply it to the cheek it's almost like a highlighter and blush in one so it is not a flat finish at all it has a sheen to it nude glow is described as a shimmering light amber it has a little bit of a peachy a muted peach to it and I think it's really pretty the blush next to nude glow is the shade mood flush this is described as a soft plum and I think this blush is going to look so gorgeous when when you're wearing simple makeup but just to give your face a healthy color to it you're going to love that blush this is one of my favorites definitely my favorite blush in this palette as well as my mom's favorite blush and if I didn't mention this before Hourglass actually has my favorite blush formula nude glow definitely has a stronger sheen than mood flush so if you are wanting more of a shimmery peachy cheek go for nude glow if you want something a little bit more everyday that's not as flashly mood flush is the right blush for you and finally we have the metallic strobe lighting powder in champagne strobe light Ugh. originally hourglass actually didn't have this really beautiful metallic highlighter formula but they did within the last year add them to their collection and they are absolutely fabulous they're very buildable and i look glowy and gorgeous this is a beautiful highlighter that's going to look great on all different types of skin tones it left no casts on my cheek and i didn't notice it emphasizing any of my texture so with that being said if i haven't already made it clear i really do love this palette if you are a matte face lover stay far far away from this palette and hourglass in general to be honest this is for people that love 
glowy, natural, fresh looking skin. This is consistent with all of the other hourglass powders and $80 might seem expensive, but for how expensive their powders tend to be individually, this is a good deal. And I really feel like they listened to their customers and they definitely made a palette that's more friendly towards darker skin tones. This definitely is going to look so beautiful on medium skin tones. I have the palette from last year and you can tell how much warmer and deeper it is than this palette. So if you were uncomfortable with buying the palette from last year because you thought your skin tone was a little bit too deep, give this year a try. It worked for my light skin tone but it definitely is going to work for medium skin tones as well. And if you look at the ambient lighting palette from a couple years ago, look how pale this palette is. So Hourglass has really made strides in the right direction. Let me look at that. So my favorite things from this palette are definitely the blushes. Beautiful formula and I really do feel like they do look different on the skin so it's not like, oh, they gave me two blushes they, that look the same. They didn't waste that pan space. There is a purpose for each of these items being here. Absolutely beautiful. Also the highlight. I haven't played too much with their strobing powders and I am very, very impressed. So overall, I think that's all I have to say about this palette. Really good, 10 out of 10. If you're a fan of Hourglass, definitely go ahead and pick it up. Don't stray away from it, I love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you are curious as to what is on my eyes, I am going to have a review of that up, so check that out as well. It's on the Viseart Libertine palette. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe my channel, comment down below any questions you may have, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.